Okay, so my second question, uh, this is from Peter Quarkenart from the Netherlands, apologies if I mispronounced your name. Uh, the question is, what are the criteria for a Yamadori to be a potentially good bonsai tree? This is a very good question, uh, one I'm quite happy to answer. Um, mainly because currently at the moment, uh, in the European market, we have um, a lot of Yamadori material out on the market, um, particularly Sabinas, um, but also all the species that we, that we, that we use for bonsai. Uh, there is a, this idea that we can go up onto the mountains and collect any single tree uh, and make it and turn it into a, into a good bonsai. Uh, so the market gets flooded with, uh, with trees that frankly should never have been collected, should just been left up on the mountains because they don't have any uh, real sort of characteristics for, for, for becoming a bonsai. Um, the best Yamadori collectors, um, both in Europe and uh, the United States, for example, Randy Knight, uh, those are the collectors um, who know exactly what can, can become a, a good bonsai, know what to collect and what not to collect, uh, and they make those decisions um, you know, in, in a matter of seconds by looking at the tree. Uh, and so what sort of um, criteria do, 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 um, do, do you need to sort of think about when looking at um, a Yamadori piece of material? Uh, one of them, uh, which sort of refers back to the, to the first question I answered, uh, is the DNA of the, of the tree. Um, particularly if we look at uh, junipers, um, what we tend to see is a, 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 vi a, a wide variety of foliage characteristics. Um, with um, some of them being male, some of them being female, uh, some being very sort of tight, dense growing uh, trees and others uh, trees that uh, extend off. Now, all of these different factors play uh, an important part in how quickly you can develop the tree, uh, develop foliage pads on the tree. Um, what we have seen uh, with Japanese bonsai uh, is over the course of 150 years since they would started to collect um, uh, junipers, is this domestic domesticization? That's even a word. Domestic. Yeah. Well, basically, they've chosen the Ipogao variety um, uh, and grafted over um, many of the the, the, the the collector trees, which have less desirable foliage characteristics. So that the the, the, the growth is on, on the less desirable trees is, is longer, it's leggier, it's blue, as opposed to the sort of the, the, the vibrant green that we tend to see with um, Ipogaos. Um, and so they, they, they understood this, um, this whole process and have been working on it for the past sort of 100 years. Uh, now what that does then, as ended up doing is that uh, Japanese bonsai, particularly the junipers, can be, can be quite monospecific, uh, you know, it's a monospecies rather, uh, and it gets a little bit boring, so all the junipers just kind of end up looking the same. Um, but that said, even this, this, uh, this, this word Ikloigawa that we it's used in the bonsai community. There's still a, a wide, wide range of uh, different Ikoigawa types. Um, some, which, some of which grow very dense, and some of which grow very, very long. Uh, but moving back to, to what we have uh, in, in Europe, uh, if we look at Sabinas, for example, then we have some trees, such as this one here. This is a, this is a tree that I purchased a couple of years ago and repotted. Uh, now this has, uh, has quite poor uh, foliage. Uh, we can see it grows very sort of long and leggy. Uh, it's flowering very, very heavily. See all the little male flowers on the ends there. And so this uh, is going to be very difficult for me to grow foliage pads on it um, uh, very easily. It's possible, uh, it's absolutely possible, but it's going to be a little bit more difficult for me to do so. However, we've got some very interesting movement in the trunk, uh, and so as bonsai material, it's worth pursuing. So what I'll end up doing this year is I'll end up grafting some, some better foliage onto, onto the branches in here. So essentially what I'm going to be doing there is using the, uh, the, the character feature that nature has created, which is the trunk, the movement in the trunk, the twist in the live vein and the deadwood, and then adding to it. Okay, so adding the branches, the foliage pads to it uh, through, through techniques. And that's, that's what we look for in, in, in Yamadori material. You're basically looking to try and find something uh, that nature has created that man cannot. Um, so in the, in the case of junipers, it's thick, twisted trunks. Um, not necessarily thick, but just twisty trunks and dead wood and features such as that. We can then uh, add branches and, and, and manipulate to, to the, the foliage and things like that, either through just wiring the existing foliage, which is what I would do with this tree. Okay, so this is another collected Sabina that I've had for in, in my possession for several years. Okay, now the reason why 
I bought this was because of the fantastic Deadwood. The fact that the live vein sort of twists around. Okay, so features such as this. You know, man cannot recreate that severity, that, that, that feeling of, uh, of growing in such a, a harsh environment. And so that those are the kind of features that we look for. Whenever I look at buying a, a piece of material, Yamadon material, I'm not really worried about the branches, where the branches are. We can manipulate those, even planting angle. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, this, this tree here, this cascading um, uh, Sabina here. Now uh, this was an upright literati when I first purchased it. Okay, so that even the planting angle, the roots can be manipulated uh, tremendously. Okay, so what you're looking for is this kind of natural movement. Okay, uh, ideally you should be looking for trees which have great foliage such as this. This is nice and dense and compact so I can use the Sabina foliage on, on this as is. Um, but if the tree has great characteristics, uh, poor foliage, then we can change things like that.